Hey, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today we're going to be making a Tinkerbell and this is my new Tinkerbell design she has little pearl and colour changing um, UV wings and a detachable skirt so you can actually take her skirt off and change it for a different different one if you choose to so this is what we're going to be making today we're going to start by doing her wings we are in a single loom columns one and three are the same height columns two is one a little bit above it which is an offset position we're going to be double banding but we're going to be using one pearl band and one of the color uv the uv color changing bands and we put them on together it doesn't matter which one's on top or which one's on the bottom Now we're going to get a pearl band, single, place it in a triangle as a crossover band, like that. And we're going to put end caps on these three at the bottom here. So take one band, stretch it out, two, three, and pop it on. Now I actually want it to go around four times, so I'm going to pull one little loop out and wrap it one more time like that Okay, so now we're going to loom this up, hold the end cap in place so it doesn't flip off the loom, off the peg. When you are doing this and you have the crossover band, you want to make sure you go underneath that crossover band. Okay, get two pearl bands, pop it, your hook through and out the other side and bring that back through. Reclaim the end of your band, take this one up, over and off and pull it so that it's nice and tight. Then we're going to ease this off the loom. We're going to make another one of these, otherwise she'd be flying around in circles. So there is our first little wing. We're going to do one more. I've saved myself a bit of time and I already have the bands. So if you need to pause to catch up with me, now is a good time to do that.
use a pearl band, a single pearl band as our crossovers. And now we loom up. Go underneath the end band just to grab those two bands at the bottom. two pearl bands, slide your hook down the middle of that peg and out through the side and pull them back up and on the outside of that peg reclaim your bands, pull it through and tighten. Now we take this off the loom. So there is our second little wing. We will just pop those to one side. Now what we're going to do is make her little skirt. Okay, and it's it's sort of, um, I've kind of tried to think of little leaves attached in a circle around her. So that's what we're going to do. So we take some green bands and we're double banding and the loom is in the same configuration we're going to go one, two and three and then one more pair is just going to go here we're going to do six of them so you can usually fit about three on the loom at a time We're going to put end caps, wrap it around four times. These are ultra stretchy bands, so I'm able to do four times quite easily, whereas with the pearl ones I couldn't. Oh, and this one's not ultra stretchy either. I'll use my hook to help with that one. There we go. Right, so we're going to go down under the end cap, grab this, and loom it across to the side. Grab this one and loom it up. Go across to the other side and loom it up. Then we take this off the loom and put it back here on top on this peg we loom up. Leave it there for a second, we're going to do all of these three. And we're going to take them off and put them on a holding hook. So on a holding hook we just take them off 
stretching that a little bit if you need to. I seem to have a, a band that is thinking it should be longer than the rest of his chums. Now we're going to do another three of these. So again, double band. Two, three, and on the side. One, two, three, one on the side. One, two, three, one on the side, and our end caps. in under behind the end cap loop it across and up and to the other side across there's one And remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can just pause the video at any time. You have complete control over how fast or how slow I'm going. You can pause it, catch up, and then re return it to play. Okay, we're going to add these to our hook as well. Okay, so this is going to be our little dress. And what we're going to do is get a double band, double green band, and hook these out. And when you want to make a different colour dress, this is what you do again. You make the six leaves, grab a double band of the same colour, we slide our little leaves on, Trying not to have them crisscross over. Slide those up. Now we're going to reclaim the end of the, the double band on our hook here. And what we're going to do is take the side that's closest to us, lift it up and over and off, and then we're going to take the little loop that we're left with and stretch it out, put it over our finger, stretch it out and place it over the little leaf that's beside it. And there we have a little flower. But if you stretch it, you can slip your little girl through there a little figurine and it will act as a little skirt for her. If you like it as a flower then by all means just keep it as a flower. <laughs> Make a flower charm, a flower bracelet, a flower necklace, whatever. But this is going to be her skirt. Now we just have to work on the actual figure of our little girl. So we're going to start with her hair. I have yellow bands for her hair we're still going to be double banding. Okay, so this is her hair. I'm going to get some flesh tone. I'm using the ones that I got from Rainbow 
Loom website, but I have to admit I absolutely detest sorting bands and to have four different colours in one packet really was rather annoying. So uh, Lucky Loom is where I prefer to get my bands. Plus they have a picture of my design on the front of their packaging. Not because I get anything from them at all, other than a bit of uh, advertising of the fact that I made those little princesses using their bands during the testing period, so that was rather fun. Okay, so we're on to three bands for her neck. I always try to use three bands for a neck because the neck can be sort of the, the bit of the weak link. So three bands, then back to your two bands. Push the bands down, make sure you have pushed the bands down, okay? Look at her shoulders. Then we need our green again for her little outfit. Now she's not going to be wearing pants, she's going to just have like a pair of underwear on and they're still going to be this colour. So we'll get more of our skin tone. For her shoes, we're going to take our hook and grab two green bands, slide our hook through, we're going to wrap it once, twice, three times. We're going to slide that on to three green bands. Try and pick them up and slide them on as opposed to rolling them. You get less... Um, Less twists, the twists are not the best. Place her little shoe on here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Two bands one, two, three. Three bands. Slide them on. Move it down to the middle. Reclaim the end of your bands. And that goes on the other foot. We need to do her arms. Take a single band, place it through your hook, wrap it once, twice and three times. Two bands. Slide that on. Two bands, slide that on, two bands, slide it on, and our last set, two bands, and slide that on. And that just gets placed here on the shoulder, like that. single band, two, three, four, slide that onto a double band, slide that onto a double band. Now 
another two bands. And lastly, two more bands. And that will go on the other shoulder, just here. Now, we're going to need some crossover bands. Let's take a single band, stretch it across her face. We're going to need eyes, and the eyes are going to go here. And what we're going to need is a bead threader. I use some very tiny beads for eyes. These are size 6 seed beads. And what I like to do is use a metal threader. And I have a, a video on how to make one of these on my YouTube channel out of a twisty tie. You're going to slide your band through your metal threader and then you're going to thread it through the bead. Like so. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Now if you're using larger beads you can just do one band across the side here. Because I'm using smaller beads I'll do them across the eyes diagonally. I just think it looks a bit better. Now when I use these little tiny beads the other thing that I do is I like to tie a knot. Oh that's not very good. Hang on a second. So we'll take the other one, we'll slide that through and thread it. What I do when I'm using the tiny beads is I like to tie a knot in them. It sort of makes the eye pop out a little bit without it looking too alienish. And it's quite tricky with these bands. These bands are a new band and they're quite tight. I, I love them, but uh, yeah, there we go. There's my knot. And that sort of just raises it up a bit so it doesn't get stuck in all the other bands in the head. So we'll do the same on this one as well. And I'm sure if you've got little fingers, you'll have no problem doing this. Make sure that the bead is facing upward. There we are. We need some crossover bands for her dress. Using a single band. We just use a single band on this spot. On this spot we're using a single band but we're stretching it into a figure eight on itself. We're looping it and putting it here. The same for the next spot. And the same for the next spot. And I'm going to use one last band here. But I'm going to take this part of it and raise it up above that band, that peg. I think it just gives a tighter sort of crotch area. Okay, next we're going to do her hair. She has a little bun on the top of her head. So we're going to use a single yellow band, put our hook through and wrap it once, twice, three times. Then we're going to take two bands, slide those on move down to the middle and reclaim our end of the bands. We're going to do about four of these. There's number two, number three, number four. Let's check. Mm, maybe one more. Five. Okay, 
we're going to take this, the two bands closest to us, pull them over and off your hook and pull it tight so that it's secure. We're then going to whoops, drop it, take it off our, off our hook, go the other side and put your hook through where the end cap was. Then reclaim the bands on the other end. You're going to slide these off and over and pull it so that you have a little bun. Okay. Now this little bun is going to sit on top of her head. Now it's all very well that those two will sit there but you kind of need something to, to secure her little bun on top of her head. At this stage we're just going to leave it like that okay because once we loom this one in we're going to loom it over the top of her bun as well okay and as it happens we're ready to loom so going down to her feet pull her shoe back and we'll loom up her legs I was doing so well with this recording, I hadn't made any mistakes and then my phone shut itself off saying I had no more room in it. So I had to delete a video that I thought I had already deleted to make room. Looming up the torso. Making sure you go, um, you know, move that crossover band out the way to dig at these two green bands at the bottom. The arms, arms are really important. You want to make sure that you have loomed those in because otherwise they'll fall off when you take it off the loom. So dig down, grab those two bands, loom them in. Same on the other side. Now you can finish off the torso. Now we're at the neck. Now the neck, remember, it has three bands, so gently does it. Dig down and find the side of the head. And you go for the top two bands, the ones you place last, then the next two bands, and then the last two bands. Looping up the head here. sure you get both bands up the face we're going to go this side yes that's fine we don't have to worry about that yet this side now this is the one that we're going to be looming here what is going to tie this in is the bands that we're going to use to tie this all off. They're going to be coming from this side all the way through and up around the outside here. So what you're going to do is spread this one out, pop the band, the bun through it. Actually hang on a second, I can see I'm not around the outside. I've got to be on the outside of this peg. On the outside, spread the band open, pop the bun through it, like so. Reclaim the end of your hook, your bands onto your hook. Secure it and pull. That's now linked in. Now we're going to very gently, using the back of a hook or something similar, ease this off the loom. Now my yellow bands are not very nice and I can see already that this one is a bit loose but we, we should be able to just tighten those in so don't worry too much if you're seeing that. Don't, don't freak out just yet.
the different tightness of different bands can cause different results really. So there's her legs and her torso, her arms and her face, her little bun and this one is a bit loose as I said so you can do a couple of things. You can get a hook and just gently pull the offending band find where it is at the back here and just tighten it up and that can just be added to a clip and the same on the other side find where it is and these two you can just push one over the other you need to be putting these on a clip anyway so thread that through and it looks much better now you don't have those knobbly bits on the top okay so we can put a little S clip here to secure these at the back of her head it's going to work in well because we need to do her mouth as well so let's do her mouth, get a red, one red band, a single red band, there's my S clip, I'm getting that ready, I'm going to stab her through her face for her quick Botox job. I'm sorry, I'm sounding awful today, we seem to all be coming down in our family with a bit of uh, either a head cold or allergies, I'm not quite sure which. So there's her little mouth, again at the back I like to put one over the other and the one closest to me I loop off and we're going to do the same over here with these, loop that off and then this is what we're going to put our clip onto. So our clip has secured her mouth and her hair in place. We can tweak her eyes a little bit. There we go. We need to put Sharpie on her eyes to give her some pupils. Some tiny little dots. For her eyes. Okay, so now we're going to do her wings. We need to add them to her body. Okay, what we're going to do is take the securing bands off and reduce it to one set of securing bands between them. So undo it and we're going to slide your hook through where those bands are and then pull those pearl bands out and you have that now on your hook okay we're going to do the same this side undo the securing band and we want to make sure that it's the same way that you've got the Remember how one side had four, one side had three, so make sure that they're married up. Slide your hook through where those bands are and pull out. So we have both sets of wings on our hook. We're going to take two bands and gently ease the wings onto those two bands little by little so that they're both sitting on the same set of bands reclaim the end see how they're both on the same set now reclaim the end of the band take the side closest to you up 
over and off. So they are now quite a tight um, set of wings and you just have the two ends to deal with now. Okay, so looking at her back you can see that there are these two bands here, two sets here, two sets here. We're going to split her wings, the end band on her wings. Going through this side, we're going to pull one band through to the left, like that. And then the other one, we're going to go under that other side and grab the wing and pull that through to the right. Okay, so you have both coming out, one to the left and one to the right. To secure them in place, push your hook through one so that you stop it from flying anywhere. Grab the other side, stretch it out and push it over the wing. Then turn around and you're going to do the same on the other side. Grab the band, stretch it out and push the wing through it and have it settle in the middle of the wings like that. So her wings are now in place. The only other thing that we need to really do is position her skirt. We'll get a little green band for her hair just so that her hair band matches her outfit and you might need to pretty that up a bit. It's too tight at the, at the base and not at the, at the top so just stretch that out a bit so that it matches and then with her skirt you're just going to stretch it enough to slip her legs in and pull her through. Spread the leaves out because they might not be even around her. And there you have a little Tinkerbell. Thank you so much for listening to the tutorial and I really look forward to seeing what colours you come up with for her, for her skirt. I'm sure some of you will do some tie-dyes and whatnot, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun to see. Please share them with us on the Facebook channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.